All right, everybody, welcome back. We're gonna play some NCAA again. Um, we are on the week where we play Texas A&M, who's ranked number five. We just finished playing against um, Ole Miss, and they got the better of us. Um, I felt like we were getting screwed in a lot of ways by just our players just not being at the caliber of their players. Um, and just some funky there the old miss offense is very hard to defend whenever you're a team that's not as good as them probably very easy to defend when you're a team that's of equal caliber or better than them um but when you're a team it's very much an offense that's made to win the games you're supposed to win and lose the games you're supposed to lose so we were supposed to lose that game because we were the worst team um and so you know it just made it difficult on us so um we're going to get back into Texas A&M, though. We're bowl eligible. We're 6-4 in the SEC West. I'd like to win at least one of these last two games to really ensure that we get into the bowl season. Um, so let's go ahead and get into gameplay so you guys can kind of see your... Um, so like I said, 6-4 and four playing the number 5 team. And it's going to be, you know, quite a... Quite an interesting game. Um, our... Schedule just finishes with Texas A&M, who's number five, and Bama, who's currently 15. Um, the hope is obviously that you know we can find a way to either beat them or Alabama to ensure a bowl game. Um, Alabama is probably not going to lose between now and the time we play them. So some of these other teams might, which hopefully will increase their ranking too. So. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I don't think that there's anything else to really check out. I guess we'll look at the stats. We typically do that. Man, Samuels was was having such a good year. Actually shit. Uh the Virginia Tech running back dropped off. Nine carries thirty four yards and their lost twenty four to nothing loss against Miami. Holy shit. Well then we still have a chance. Oh, why is Minnesota so fucking good? 334 yards and three touchdowns. What is Minnesota doing over there? <laughs> so yeah, so I guess we still have a chance for a Heisman with our guy. Poor Egot, man. He's been playing his ass off this season. Oh shit, we're really falling behind though. Oh, shit, we got some defensive MVPs I'm sure are coming. Shivers, dude. Shivers should be leading the NCAA in interceptions. But he drops like three a game, and I'm not even kidding about this. Let's go see. Shivers. Three interceptions. Eight pass deflections. And those, trust me, I don't go up there and try to deflect the pass. I go try to catch the pass. Those are eight drops. Eight dropped interceptions is what they are. I'm telling you the stress of this game, man. The stress included in this game. Alright. I got here to So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into this Tech Sana game. We've already done our um pretty sure. Let me double check. I just want to make sure that we got any recruits. Oh, we got three ready for a visit now, so... Let's try to, uh... He's only available that week, really. Okay. I don't think that we really need to move points around. I think we got all of our guys that we're wanting. So let's go ahead, and we'll we'll also look at recruiting after this week's done. I just wanted to make sure we got any rich for visit guys set up. Fuck, dude, R65 overall is just daunting to look at at the moment. <laughs> it's just not very good at all. <laughs> uh, but hey, we've been in every game really, except for the South Carolina game. We got our asses whooped. <clears throat> there was really absolutely nothing.
sorry. I'm talking with a graphic design artist also because they're making me all my Twitch emotes and, and sub badges and stuff that I think you guys are going to be really excited about. So, <clears throat> that'll be neat once that finally comes out. What is my computer usage at? 60%. Blue rose theme. NFL Arts playing League of Legend. Might we might try to raid Lickaboo in Alien Isolation after this. That would be neat. Okay, I can get rid of the fiber and stuff. <clears throat> All right. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Texas A&M has a cool stadium too. It's one of the toughest stadiums in the country to play in. Kyle Field is the site of today's battle. <clears throat> oh, I want to win this game. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Come on, guys. He sends this one deep. He's to the 10. He's tackled at the 14. Senior All right. taking the home field for the final time. And no matter what I'm really starting before, to like my quarterback, though. I, I really, you know, we'll wasn't do. sure when I took over this team. I was like, man, I need to recruit a quarterback that's better so than this guy. And I am still trying to, but I honestly, I've, I've learned to gain a lot of respect for him. And even no matter what quarterback I end up getting, he's getting redshirted the first year anyway. So I think Egan might be my guy. <clears throat> he really balled out in the last game that we had against Ole Miss. It just, it was, it was a couple dumb mistakes on my part, but then also like just the drop passes that we had. I never actually looked at that stat, but I should have looked at the stat of how many drops that we had. Yeah, let's get back in the, you know, the swing of like huddling and stuff. I just had to say something about drops, didn't I? <clears throat> I just had to say drops. Play fake. Here comes the defense. I just, dude, I hold my breath every time the ball's in the air now because even though I see a wide open receiver, they could drop the fucking ball. <laughs> so frustrating. From the 49 yard line, it's first down. God, why did we, why did the whole line step right? I mean, I guess it's inside zone right, so it should have but like there's nobody stepped into that guy's gap. That's kind of frustrating. Something's gonna happen over here, right? Yep. Two yards on that though. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. Let's look at our spread options here. <coughs> I like this one. Dude, their corner over there is their impact player. That's kind of odd, honestly. How many options for him? Well, let's try that. Nice job. There we go. You know, the quarterback that time took a big time major chance by putting that ball up in the coverage. Now the receiver made the play, they get a first down. But if you're a quarterback, you want to be very, very selective and very careful on how many chances you're willing to take. Come on, guys, let's get our box here. There we go. And they make the stop at the twenty-two. See, if we just get blocks, man, Samuels is gonna make they're gonna, he's gonna get yards. Oh, 
Now he tries to buy some time. Under heavy pressure. He goes out of bounds. <laughs> the 23 yard line. Away or something. Or maybe tried to hit right bumper last second there. He did, he did squeak open a little bit. Third down, <clears throat> and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. I want to put it on the ground so bad. See what good bought us over there. Nope, nothing for us. Got his receiver, but it's knocked down. Fuck. I think I might be able to kick a field goal from here, though. Yeah, we're going to kick a field goal. Let's just take points. Let's see if our defense show up today. Defense actually typically does show up. It's just they wait until the second half to show up, which is why normally I try to just keep the ball on the ground so much so that we run out clock. <clears throat> Florida taking it to South Carolina, huh? New Mexico State lines up for the kickoff. Okay, so and he got we all of this have a lead in this game, game, which is important. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It definitely changes their play style whenever we're in the lead. So I feel like we've got to run this. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They might be coming here. Finally, we like to try. The middle, to line up a man cover. Dude, they snapped the ball so fast. Moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big game, and this offense keeps humming along. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. A great defensive end in college football. Kellen Mond. That guy's been there a while, hasn't he? Didn't that guy start as a freshman there? When to jump the snap count. When to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like oh they can gosh. beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage. You guys, you guys, you guys. That's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Uh, shoot. Like I get it. It's hard to cover these fucks, but... And down he goes at about the 47-yard line. Okay, well, what we're doing at least is we're going to force them to be one-dimensional. That's important. They're now feeling like they can't run the ball. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. He's got it with room to run. He's at the 40. Tackle right around the 34. That's kind of a little rub play there. Smart play on their part. Dude, we're actually getting negative plays, so I think that the defense is is here with us today. You know, I think that they're they're stepping up today. But now we need to just keep them out of. What was that? We need to keep them out of. Oh, dude, this trip to the boundary shit is killing me. I'm just gonna let it. Let's see what happens. Fuck. And he's taken down at about Dude, the these teams that play trips to the boundary are killing me. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. This is okay. I really want Kirk to get out there more, but okay. I'm sorry. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 23 yard line. Second down. This is winning coverage here. And he yeah. tackles him hard. At the Dude, can we please line. get another they sack get and get them out of field range? Please. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Fires out to his receiver. Right right, we'll accept the field goal. Wow, feel, a that's a win for us, you know. We're keeping the game low scoring, tied, no lead given up.
small as the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep sends it sailing downfield he's to the 10 looking for the corner he gets hit out of bounds All right. at the 21 yard line So far, it's been totally Let's get even. back to our style. Most games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Fuck, dude, I hate the defense that they're coming out in. Ball is loose, fumble. The defense scoops it up. He's taken down at the 26. Oh, my gosh. Mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. <laughs> They put some points on the board. Like, you can't even be mad, but I mean... In position to do much of the same. The defense has their backs against the wall here. They're really going to have to get aggressive if they want to keep the offense from scoring any points here. He's got it out to his tight end. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Gain of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Okay, we really need to hold to a field goal again here. And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. That would be a huge win for us. Fuck, I think I was offsides. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still on nope, the okay. pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is gonna have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made the 12 yard line. Why are we not? Uh, I need corners that are pressing properly, though, too, you know? It looks like they're going to blitz. That would help tremendously. Touchdown, Texas A&M! Well, that fumble, man. Fumble cost us, and Samuels never fumbles on me, so I can't be too upset about it. But it just shows, you know, when you got when you when you're taking over a program like this, and they don't have the mentality of winning, it can be just really tough, and really tough to get them to understand that it is every single little thing that matters. But you can't be mad at Samuels for that. People flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. And while now they're, they're finally behind, getting the information they they things up in a heartbeat. that I like to run this ball against. And he's tackled after positive yardage. <clears throat> I mean, what are the chances of him fumbling twice in one game, though? You know, so I should be able to just feel the Really give it to him and not have to worry about another turnover. Samuel takes a handoff. They'll get a first down there. He's getting his shit kicked in. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. Come on. run and he's brought down just gonna keep doing our game style so it's second down and about two yards to go he makes it to the 45 yard line come on 73 hold your block when you get a first down there Looks All right, like we're so we're going to the second quarter. Down by seven. We have the ball. Really, I think we're in good shape. We just need to get this first. And I dislike the formation that they're using against us right now. Looks okay. That worked out so. Gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Try this counter play. First and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Mike one, Mike one. Oh, 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 oh
Once again, man, he, he jumps out there too wide. Well, I guess it would be better if I had a fullback that actually cracked that guy too. I've got my backup run back in there. But if my guy could actually light him up, then it wouldn't matter if he bounces which way or whatnot. And that's supposed to be like a fullback's favorite fucking play. Oh shit, this makes me super nervous. Oh, well hey, that kind of made it work out a little bit better, right? A little bit. Go with this flood. We'll see if Warner gets open or if Price gets open to the bank, actually. Oh, dude, they flipped their entire fucking formation when I do that. Yeah, I want to go back. Oh, well, hey, at least that guy's staying over there now. So now we're just watching Bodison, Warner, and Price. Okay. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down around the 11 yard line. Well, that was a nice play. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Okay. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. Shit, Samuels is out now. They're at the six. Second down. Mike one, Mike one. This kind of could be interesting, actually. He's gonna try and scramble. I like that a lot now for a red zone play. Shit. That's actually just like my uh, overdose play that I used to call with the cyclones. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm a fan. <laughs> That's exactly how it's supposed to look. And he converts the extra point. A 10 play, 77 yard drive, and that's good for That's a progression rate though. You're trying to hit the crosser first from the outside, and then if that's not open, you're hoping that your little flat route. And I used to run it like a wheel come back to the pylon. And then your number three. Or in that case it was the number two is running that corner at the back of the end zone for last resort, and that was what was open. <laughs> Kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down. Right. <clears throat> well, now, our defense showed up whenever we had them in deep. Now, you know, they, the one time they struggled was whenever we this is the point gave them a short field with the turnover. So, the guys, to feel more let's see. Going into half -time. <laughs> if having a full field, we can hold him to another field or something again. And then I'll be, this will be my last game of the day after this. It's, it's just so beautiful outside here. Ooh, look at that play. It was a user tackle for loss. <laughs> so Miss is losing. That's good. We need Oregon to lose to Utah. That so would be sweet. Down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. Mike three, Mike three. And they might be coming with a blitz here. He's on the run. That's a Get great There we go. That is a loss of two yards. I can't wait until my team is good enough to where I cannot run man just the entire time. <laughs> I think we stick to it, huh? You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big play. Oh, I was trying to get underneath that receiver that went up and blocked that safety. 
first down. From the 40-yard line, first down. Gains are going the 26-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. Ever since that fumble, he's really come out hot. Need to hope he doesn't do it again, but what are the chances, you know? That might have been his second fumble all season, honestly. I was trying to cut inside of that that pulling guard since he he's supposed to lead up into a hole, but since obviously he saw that guy, he was trying to kick out. <clears throat> oh shit! Let's see what we got here. From the thirty-yard line, second down. And they make the stop around the twenty-one yard line. That'll make it thirty-five. I'm gonna do a prediction after this because I want to get <clears throat> back in the habit of doing that. I don't feel comfortable audible into this though. He scrambled. He heaves it to the end zone. Uh, it's knocked away, incomplete. We have field goal range. <clears throat> we are in field goal range. I wish I could have so threw that to me sooner, but it just They'll made me super nervous. It's up, and it's good. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. An update now from Starkville and for no, Alabama. Yeah, Alabama to win that now. They line up to kick this one away. <laughs> he sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Good on the run, right side. Play. Nice run there. They're showing blitz. Fuck. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. I don't know what the He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 46. <clears throat> They're doing two minute drill. Shivers go for the pick. What are you doing? Do better job of looking off defenders and go for the pick, man. Some room to improvise and get free. Uh, go win the game. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. I was gonna say, with my luck, that tight end catching the ball will just fucking break all my tackles. Knock them out of field goal range, and then none of my guys get there. Fourth down. They call on the kicker. I need to call time out there. <sighs> Please tell me the Aggies don't have a fucking kicker. See, so this is the example of like punt return right is gonna. The animation is wrong. It's gonna have me. See how, like, now my guys are going over to the right, where my returner's right? That's what I meant by that. <clears throat> oh, and this guy can get fucking 70-yarder, for Christ's sake. Holy shit. 
Small is lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. Tackle at the 18. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and try to go sore. <clears throat> at least kick a field goal. Kind of been liking the shotgun spread a little bit. I, I like I like pistol, don't get me wrong, but this has been interesting to me. It still has some of the plays the I typically the use, just in shotgun now. That give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And nobody's open. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense I don't know what and make else. quicker decisions. And especially I don't know what when I'm the defense to do. starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off. <coughs> Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 18. That makes it interesting. Why do we throw it straight to the linebacker? Is my quarterback tired? No, he's not tired. Well, this has been a load of shit. I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> I was just trying to dump it down, but I ended up pushing A for some reason. I have no idea why. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. Let's try putting the ball on. This is still okay. So we'll just tie it out real quick. New Mexico State's gonna have to use their second Give my guys a little bit of a rest, get some yards, make it easier on us. Let's go to Pistol, though. Let's just go shallow cross. This is a very well coached defense. We're playing so well, and I don't want to give them a chance, so we're going to go ahead and punt. I don't want to give them a chance to score for the time, so we're going to kick it out of bounds. Hopefully. There's a punt, and it's a line drive. Well, that's what it's all about for these guys. You can turn have all three timeouts. Create more chances for your defense. This aggressive defense kind of hoping maybe I can get them to use tonight. those timeouts and give me like the last chance to help Mary or half. half time, I think we'll see more and more attempts to gotta watch this running back though. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down. <coughs> Texas a and is going to take their first time out of the half. Ugh, there's so much gunk in my throat. <clears throat> From the 47 yard line, it's first down. Gets it. He's in space. He gets hit There's out of no bounds. reason for my guys to get beat like that. Line. Especially when he's lobbing it up. He's scrambling, and now the ball is loose. Looks like the offense has it. Now the Aggies are going to call their second. My time. guy, my fatty, just straight missed. Just straight. 
missed falling on the ball. I don't know what it is I'm doing wrong. <laughs> like, that's what I'm talking about, though, man. We had an opportunity in front of us to just fall on the ball, drives over, they don't score. And then, out of nowhere, I don't even know how... What am I supposed to do to fix that? What do I do to fix that? I didn't even line that guy up. He lined up there by himself. Texas A&M is up by six. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. I mean, I wish, you know, it's like if they beat me deep just because they're better than me, fine. But don't, don't, as the developer, force the game to, like, just... He's to the you know, lay He's just to the a 20. fat steam turd on you. And they push him out around the 32 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Throws incomplete. They got I was just trying to. I'm glad that he didn't catch that, because I was just trying to get a couple more yards to make it an actual doable Hail Mary throw. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. I know my quarterback can't throw this ball this far, and they're rushing. Now he's scrambling. Going deep, lays it out there. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. It's halftime. I always We've got had a, a decent one. game, too, except for we just... You know, field goals aren't going to win us the game. All right, Reese, we know that, but we were just hoping. Action, just and our defense hasn't played bad, dude. We missed Since falling on one fumble. Field. We missed one interception. We missed falling on one fumble. And then we yeah, had a guy that had a stroke trying to touchback. be in man coverage. I, I don't know how you fix that. <clears throat> I mean, it's got to be important to them. As a coach, Texas you would explain to them. If this isn't important to you, then you're not going to have success. Oh my. I was about to say, we just finally had perfect coverage. And we're going to miss the sack. It's going to break coverage. Somebody will be open. Typical. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Nice run, and he's brought down. I'll take that. We can force a punt here. Everything's reset. Fires out to his receiver. It didn't matter that I just left the tight end wide open on the fucking out route. <laughs> And we're impressed, bro. You can't be giving up a fucking slant and press coverage. And it looks like, they're gonna bring some heat. like, you're pressed. Don't let him off the line so easily. I'm watching. Oh, yeah. We're, yeah, we're shit. We don't want to be physical at all. And they're, they're probably in physical range with their fucking Greg legged kicker over there. He's pushed out of bounds at the 36 yard line. What a weak fucking play. What a weak play. If I ever did that as New Mexico State, that would be pick six to like nobody's fucking business. It must be nice that, you know, your quarterback feels confident enough to just blindfoldedly throw it towards the sideline. And your guy is not only there, but has 10 yards of separation and then catches it to stay in bounds to fucking tiptoe. Complete and he's hit right away. 
We need to hold to a field goal here. We've got to hold to a field goal. <laughs> Well, the running game is out the window because we're behind. So we're going to go ahead and try to make this a game. <clears throat> See what we can manifest out of this steam pile of shit we got ourselves into. <laughs> A way to fall forward, man. If you can find a running back that will just punish whoever's trying to tackle him and then fall forward the entire time, you found something special. It has to be important to him. Ooh, safety, safety, can I get you? Fuck. He's on the run. You, you just need to be a little bit faster, bro. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. A little bit faster. Yeah, come to me. And down he goes. Well, that's the Seven yard line. I guess that's Second okay. Down seven. Ball on their own 47. Caught with room to work. He's tackled at the 35 yard line. This receiver showed soft hands and <sighs> the first down. My cornerbacks are mistaken, getting fucking receiving yards. Their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. What are we doing, dude? I was throwing that to Y. I was throwing that to Y. Oh my goodness. Second down, ten yards. Take a dookie, honey. Thanks for following me. Man. Nice name. I like it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Give me that press coverage. And of course, none of my guys get off the press. Nobody's open. I'm just gonna throw the fucking ball out of press. Oh, come on, man. I guess we'll try this play action deep in. Is uh, Samuels? Okay, he's back in. He's back in. Who's over there? Warren? Okay, my whole starting offense is back in. We should be able to make something happen here. I want to hit Y. I want to hit Y with the fucking... Oh, that guy followed him the whole time, dude. As an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair. Well, you might as well go for it. Because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. I would normally never do this. But, I mean, our season is ending. I've got to tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't going to just pull the ball One of the two, it's either going to be Warner or Wyatt, I'm pretty sure. Come on, Warner. Come on, Warner. Oh my god, I can't believe I just completed that. <laughs> that safety stuttered just enough. <sighs> Dude, this game is.
so stressful. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Oh, yeah. Can we please combo to Mike Backer? Please combo to Mike Backer. There's the combo. Fuck. Just get there, Samuels. That brings up second and goal. Let's go, let's go. Please combo to that backer on the right. Didn't combo him. We're good. We're good. We're good. Whew. Okay. Now we need to stop. He makes the PAT. Let's throw it out to reach. We need to stop. Time to check in on what's going on in No, Alabama cannot lose to Mississippi. We need them to win so that we can try to beat them to improve our ranking. They're sleepwalking through this thing. If they don't turn it around, they're going to get into a world of trouble. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. New Mexico State's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip we are identical. It's killing me. Is that fumble that happened? I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with fumble that happened in the first quarter. And the offense got the job done. Kill me. They have the same strategy here. There, dude. Receivers. Oh my God. The corners. Fuck, dude. We have got. Texas a Got to press. And we've got to cover. He's at midfield. Here's an opening. They'll bring him down. Yard line. Unbelievable. Like I get it that Texan him is better than me, but some of the shit that's happening, like, like the computer is allowing to happen just because they're better than me, is what's just fucking unreal. Got a man, watch out here. And they make the stop at about the 19 yard line. Oh boy. Please pick it off. Please stop swatting the ball. <laughs> Please go for the interceptions. From the 19 yard line. Second down. Let's go. Looking for the corner. Of course. And it's like, of course, you know, none of my other guys are able to shed their blocks fast enough to actually get out there. So that running back can go through that entire animation of breaking a tackle. And he throws it away. Here we go. All right. Got some pressure and hey, this guy's throwing for 344 yards against me. Please miss. So the kicking team is on the field. Just They'll give me one favor, dude. Texas A&M can make this a two-possession game with a field goal. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. That doesn't fucking affect Once anything set, either. Gotta stay that way. The <sighs> so of course you know the fucking one penalty that I do get is a nonsense penalty that doesn't affect anything in the game. Unfucking real. Kicks up and the field goal is good. Hey, if I just force one more, if I score a touchdown, force one more field goal, then there's a chance. Kick, plenty of distance. He makes it out to maybe the 16 yard line. All right. The quarterback Can please try to get open fast so our quarterback's not you know, scrambling for his fucking life. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Fucking under pressure. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do much better. What happened? Dude, I'm so confused on, like, the... Okay, so, boom. I'm like, yes, I want to throw it. I want to throw it. Fuck. 
but being able to read that defense and if my line could give me more time then i would be able to find little starts to get pressure you've got you know, to get shit like rid of that. that football or check it down or take off and run with it second down and 10 to go ball on the 16. Oh my god, guys. I don't really know what to do. yard line you know they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker but picking up some okay, major yards please. on the play see so it's like they're crowding the box right now because they don't want me to run the ball they're forcing me to pass on first down it makes sense good strategy so if we could just get a completion for like five yards then they would have to start crowding the box they would have to continue crowding the box he's under some heat and he can't get away from the pressure. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful See, that's what I mean. Is I don't ever have just one guy getting in my quarterback. And so my quarterback, if he breaks the tackle, I can keep running for a little bit before another guy does. They've got, it's just, you know, fucking rapid fire of me getting fucking. Uh, I'm back to the dick. Dude, look at my quarterback. He doesn't throw a pick yet today. And the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Oh, fuck. I got Cook and Shivers. Somebody be open. Oh, my God. Shivers caught a pass. What is happening? Shivers caught two passes. Number 33 brings him down at the 22 yard line. Oh, that brings up second and one. Pick it up. Alert, alert, alert. Cat, cat, cat. Pick it up. Check, check. That's what I'm not doing. No, 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 no. Damn it, I wanted to put the ball on the ground, and then I pushed X twice to audible for some reason, and that's an audible, so... But I wanted to audible to, like, run play in the same formation, not the audible that's XX. There it is again. Flip it. And Gucci. Gains his way to the seven-yard line. Mills having another big day. Two score game, and they can cut that down here. Would have had a bigger day if my defense could have showed up. Combo to backer. Combo to backer. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Get in there, man. Do they face mask him too? Face mask this game never get called. Alright, it is a field goal game now, guys. We need to hold them to a field goal, and then we need to score a touchdown, or we need to force a punt. This is a very winnable game, still. Ugh. Ooh. There we go, Alabama. Come on, show the fuck up. I'm doing you a favor by taking out Texas A&M, and not you. I could take out you and let Texas A&M win the goddamn FC West. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Aggies having everything going their way right now. They have put up 20 straight points on the board. I kind of want to try to get ranked before the season's over, so I'm trying to beat 
Everybody. Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. Boom. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's going to have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub. <laughs> it's just been shot after shot all day long. Where's the offensive line? Green and eight. Green fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, good, yeah, he's gonna get sacked. To me, that's on the quarterback. He's got to be able to recognize and use his eyes and vision to be able to see that the corner is coming okay. on a blitz. The offense didn't do a good finally job run something like this. <laughs> the quarterback's got to be able to see that and make the throw quickly to get the ball before the corner can sack him. And he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. Good job. All right, five minutes. I don't know if I can five, run five minutes the off the clock. The return. <clears throat> and we'll try. Samuel feels it at the 39. You're not going to be able to run five minutes off the clock from here. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. What are they doing to me? He's scrambling. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Okay. That makes it first and ten. The this is kind of stressful. Holy it's shit. First down. Now he's scrambling. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. They're going to keep giving us that. We're going to keep taking it. First down. Seventy six, hold your block, man. Hold your block. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the twenty yard line. This much. Let's it go. Touchdown, and that gives up the lead. Huge, huge, huge. On the extra point. Four play, Aggies four versus five. Aggies, bro. This should be a rivalry. So our score, Let's go. Three, four, three. All right. They line up to kick this one away. Come on, defense. He sends this one deep. <sighs> this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down around the 44-yard line. Sorry, bend no break. Bend no break. To the right. Oh my God. He catches another one. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27. Okay. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. Got his man. That's good. That's good. Attack on any yardage. Who? Come on. Oh. 
Come on, dude. Don't make my offense win this. My offense makes me really nervous at the moment. They're showing blitz. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Holy shit. All right. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. What else I could have done there? The extra point. <laughs> Five play, 75 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drop. But the defense was on its heels most of the time. Really smarter than though, whatever they did to like let my DN try to chase down their running back. He's to the 20. Was super smart of them. And he's taken down at the 37. New Mexico State's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. <laughs> What's up, Ginger Vitus? Just score one more, I know. They just make this so difficult on me. They punch it in for six on the last <sighs> series. Can they do it again? This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the leads he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, fall very forward. There we go. To throw the football against this team with 10 yards. 130 yards rushing with this guy. And now he's injured or something. It's second down, and they're about the length of the I guess I'll try to take a shot on second and short. Less than three minutes in the game. Oh, safety high. Could fuck them. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's tackled. I don't know if he was open. No, he wasn't open. Nobody was open. We made the right. We made the right decision. All right. Let's go back to putting it on the ground. Good blocking. Now, why didn't number seven go block somebody, though? That slot receiver needs a... Oh, he missed the guy that tackled me. Let's take another shot again. He's going to try and scramble. Pressure coming. And they push him out I've had A, I think. Line. I think I probably should have thrown an A on that one. <sighs> well, I don't like that at all. I like that better. Oh, what's my quarterback doing? Hand off the fucking ball, you idiot. New Mexico State's gonna oh my god, the glitches in this game, dude. <laughs> make it uh, thought you fumbled there. Yeah, I thought so too. I don't know why I didn't hand off the ball. <laughs> what a jackass, that guy. <laughs> I hate that now they're all of a sudden playing their... Let's try this one. For Wyatt. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Ooh, I think there's a, a hole there. A in the game. Get the first. Get the first. Get the first. Alright. We're in fuel range. Man, that makes me nervous. Makes the catch and look out. Inside the ten. Touchdown and that's gonna Fuck. Give them the I think that we gave them too much time. <laughs> I know I should be really excited that we just scored, but I think we gave him too much time on the clock. What a bitch. <laughs> Why am I not even allowed to be excited about scoring a touchdown, man? <laughs> 
Oh my god, he just got bodied. Oh my god, see this is what I'm talking about. That's alright, actually. Actually, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, because at least now they don't score with like 16 seconds left and not give them a chance. But holy shit, look at, look at all my guys getting tossed. And then you didn't even do anything. The things that this game does to you when you're a worse team, not even like, I don't know, just find find a better way to, to make me lose than, than, you know, to just make my players look like they're all having strokes and heart attacks on the field. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 10. And he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. Okay. So the Aggies coaching staff and the 49 seconds. Two timeouts. Got to get a field goal at least. Get the football into the hands of this running Looks like my running back's out. A toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. Under a minute. And I've got a cornerback at wide receiver number a is my starting cornerback this is gonna go great they're gonna have to rush to the line he's on the run caught open field get the first get the first we need the clock to stop there we go okay jesus dude stop juking just fall fucking forward Oh. I kind of wanted to throw it up to B, but I just know that he won't actually go up and get it. it really, uh, they find themselves in a hole here after that. Sack. Fucks my game plan. There. Okay, they're one safety high. So what we want to do is we want to take Abraham and have him streak, and then we're gonna read between Y and A based on what the safety does. We're also going to look at Bodison to see if he beats his man. And he doesn't, but A is open. <laughs> Fucking A. Dude. The things that this game does to you when you're a worse team. Same strategy. Same strat. Oh my god, we caught the ball. No huddle. Holy shit, this game. Like, gray hairs because of this game. No huddle. Or is he hurt? <laughs> I just got my cornerback killed. Poor guy trying to play wide receiver right now. Try to run one more play to score. See if something breaks open. Quick strike and he drops it. They catch the, the ball. And it Good job here uh. by the defense. They put an end to that obvious belief by the offensive coordinator that the play would have worked multiple. I don't know times. if I can kick a 27 yard. This is what's shitty. This to take us to overtime. There's the and then they're gonna try to ice me. This play is number eight on the drive. This fucking game. They're gonna call a timeout. Holy shit. As expected, they'll call a timeout here and try to add a little pressure. I wish oh if he would have just caught that man. 
Big kick here. This would bring it to overtime. A miss, and this game's over. The kick is up. We're going to OT. Fuck, and I said that I needed to be done at noon, and we're going to overtime. Quarter, and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. Uh, okay. So is my is Samuel's just out? Where are we at here? He's not out. So where is he? Very confused. And we're back ready now for overtime. He scrambles, throws it. Oh my god, thank god you kicker. Yeah, thank god I do. And that barely made it. So it's not very, not a good kicker, it's just an average kicker. I can't believe I just threw that. Why do I have offensive players missing right now, though? He hits the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reece. All right. The football's flying all over the lot in the big flag. <sighs> From the 25 yard line, first down. Check 99. Check 99. Blue for it. He's looking for six. Intercepted. Game over. Shivers, you finally did it. You did it! <laughs> that guy has dropped like nine interceptions all season long. <laughs> Mexico State staff just dancing on the sideline. Holy Their star shit! Star player came through for him, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should. Feel wow. Good. You and I just having a chance to sit back and and watch this young man play. Uh, uh, outstanding performance. Why was that so stressful, though, man? Dude. Oh my god. My quarterback, my freshman quarterback, looking like a Heisman candidate all of a sudden. Samuels had a hell of a game. Offensively, incredible game. Dude. Yeah, he, he even dropped one this game. That deflected pass was a drop. Three field goals. I couldn't have asked for a better game out of any of my guys, I don't think. Except for, look at the drops, though. Warner had a drop. Bodison had a drop. Abraham, Price. I wouldn't have been so stressed if we would just call our passes. Holy cow, that took so much out of me just there. <laughs> Shivers, man. Shiver should be leading the whole NCAA in interceptions. He's got nine... He has nine drop interceptions, and he has four interceptions now, I think. Oh my goodness. Well, we're definitely getting a bowl game now, so that's exciting as shit. Let's do this. All right. Um. Let's see what our stats look like. I want my quarterback to be the leading. I'm gonna have the leading passer and the leading rusher. It's because my dude playing this first played both sides. I know, isn't that crazy too? They were trying to copy me is what happened. They wanted to hit the long ball too to fucking tie the game. Oh my god. That was so exciting. Well, I'm number two, but it's I'm probably going to get passed by... I'm going to drop down to four after I sim, probably. And actually, I'm probably screwed on that anyway, because these other... I have Bama, then some bye weeks. 
Yeah, we play Bam, and then I've got two weeks to buy weeks. Give me a ranking, man. Come on. Put me in the top 25. Oh yeah, Texas San Antonio. Yeah, that'd be fun. I, I, I like playing with those smaller schools. Actually, it makes it more of a challenge for me. Um, recruiting battles. Right, let's see what recruiting does look like. Did Bama win? They did. So they're thirteen. We got it to number twenty-one. Let's go. Woo. Yeah, that big Tex and m one was a big one. Let's see what's happened with our recruits. Why are we missing points all of a sudden? Oh, he locked us out, that bastard. I don't even want to go for him anymore anyway. I'm glad that he did. All right. So quarterback, we're good on him. Even though I don't need him, I've already got the guy I want. I want to snag this. I'm sorry, gingivitis, but I want to snag this receiver from Clemson. <laughs> I'm trying to. About time you're ranked. Yeah, right. <laughs> I had a ranking earlier in the year, and then I lost it whenever I lost to Auburn, actually. But uh, and I got my ass kicked by South Carolina too. That hurt me a little bit. He's a perk to unlock them. Yeah, I haven't unlocked that yet with my coach's points. Um, so I, it's not worth trying to. But it also, I looked and it was like 2,400 points away from even having a chance. And it's like, at that point, I don't want to waste my time, you know, spilling points into somebody uh, he signed with. Well, shit, I kind of wanted him over this guy. But at least I got a center. I'll just register this guy. We got our DNs. How did... I don't know if I care to lose that guy either. I don't know. We got a lot of points, though. Maybe we'll see. Damn, we lost that guy. It's all right, though. As long as this guy got a higher overall at the moment. How did we lose the corner? We were in the lead on the corner the entire time. The Texas Tech dude that was so fucking special. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to get this other safety because I didn't go after a free safety and I'd like to move one of these guys to free safety. We're good on the kicker. How do we get past the punter? No, I want the fucking punter. Actually, do I care about the punter? My kicker's balanced. My punter's an accurate punter, so it means he's probably not going to have very much kicking power and I care more about the power. Now are we losing the athlete all of a sudden? What is happening? Who would... Ugh. Well, fuck. I don't know that it's worth even going after this guy at the moment. I just beat number five Texan M. How am I losing all these guys all of a sudden? I really don't care about him because I've got this guy already. So I'd like to, I think I'm going to go ahead and get this guy off my board. Yeah, we're just going to drop him. I want him though. I want the four star. Well, that thing is a scrambler. I don't know who I'd use more. Your son. I know, but I, I just beat a number five team. I just, I just beat a number five team, and everybody's jumping ship all of a sudden. I, I was in the lead on them all season. <laughs> I actually don't even care if I get that running back, but I'm gonna leave him on the board just in case. He's mine. I need him. 
uh, we can still get him. If I get this guy, I'll probably actually move him to center so that he's above him. I don't think I gotta worry about him. Alright, so the D tackle, the outside backer. I don't need to put as many points on this guy anymore. I can take those back. Okay, cool. The D tackle on the outside backer. That's who we're gonna beef. Beef these guys up. Still gonna try to get that hunter. Ready for a visit. Ooh, we finally got this quarterback ready. Let's get it. Okay. I guess the last hundred points I'll probably put on that running back, but let me just double check. Yeah, we'll put it on the running back. Probably dropped in top classes. Yeah, I went from 21 down to 25. But I've got 15 signs, so I've got 10 spots left. I had time to play this, but I've got to... I'm heading out to the wineries today. It's a beautiful day in St. Louis. We've got a 60 degree day for the first time in a while, so that's where I'll be hitting. Alright, what else can we look at though before I get off of here? So in the top 25, where did Texas a drop to? That's going to be funny to me. Well, they only dropped to 14, losing to an unranked team. Well, I guess now I'm technically ranked, so it doesn't look that bad, but... How is Texas Tech above us? I really doubt that their losses are impressive as ours. But some of you, they lost to Kansas. Okay, that's an impressive loss. Not so much. I mean, come on, man. My losses are at least legit. I lost to South Carolina. Okay, Auburn is a good football team in this game. I don't know why they're four and six. <laughs> lost to LSU and Ole Miss. I mean, I lost to SEC schools. You know, I didn't lose to the fucking bottom of the barrel. Big 12 Kansas and shit. Who else receiving votes? Western Kentucky, Pittsburgh, Nebraska, Navy, and Louisiana. That's the coaches. The media poll has me at 23. Pfft, fuck the media. And the BCS. I'm at 22. I'll take that. I will accept 22 in the BCS. I'm still mad that I, I should be, in my opinion, just my opinion, I should be the highest ranked four law team. Mm -hmm. Texas Tech should not be ranked higher than me. They don't even... Who are their wins? Texas State, TCU, barely by a point. Iowa State, West Virginia. Okay, they beat Baylor. They have one impressive win against the number eight team. I beat Georgia when they were number four. I beat Notre Dame when they were number two, I think, or three. They're still number four. That I'm their only. I'm Notre Dame's only loss. I beat Kentucky. Not very impressive. Arkansas is not very impressive. Then I'd be, I'd be number five Texas a &M. What is this shit? I guess Baylor was probably a high rank. Where was Baylor last week? Baylor was number two. Okay, I can kind of see it. Kind of. But still. They don't have the amount of impressive wins as I do. And I have a one prestige. One star prestige school. Or a four star. Gonna take a while to turn this program around. Heisman watch. Let's go get the Heisman with our running back man. Let's go do it. 
He's having a killer year. I kind of wish my quarterback was on the list too, but I think that I've, I think I've fucked my quarterback by throwing too many interceptions, honestly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> now, in my defense, some of those interceptions have come off the hands of my own receivers. Dude, what a beastly year for that guy. I don't really have like a go-to receiver. I mean, Austin's finally at least catching up. He's supposed to be my he's 80 overall. He's supposed to be my number one. These are 70 overalls and 70 overall. So this is supposed to be my go-to. He has the highest average except for Wyatt. I hit Wyatt on a lot of deep stuff. Hm. Yak. Wyatt has the most yak, huh? Look at the drops though by my receivers. Oh my gosh. Does any other team have that amount of drops? Nope. Nope. Who was the other leading quarterback? Mississippi State. Let's go to Mississippi State and see how many drops their receivers have. Five is the max. I bet I can go to the entire SEC and I'm Number one, two, three, and four on that bitch. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just fucking bitching. <laughs> Download this app that has mice run across the screen. What? <laughs> on your on your on your phone screen or on your computer screen? That's right, yeah. In the SEC receiving. Okay, that Peyton guy from Mississippi State, kind of stud, cool, cool. Drops. Like I said, one, two, three, and four, my guys. And one of my guys is a running back. I will say that my number one receiver does not drop the ball very often, so that's a good sign. Cat is infatuated with it on the phone. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, dude, in the SEC though, rating. Completions, I have the most completions. Dude, I'm beating that uh, Mississippi State quarterback with completions by one. By one. Here I am trying to be. Oh my god, and he's only beating me by two yards. I have the higher completion percentage, though. I have the highest completion percentage in the SEC with a scrambling quarterback. That's a freshman. Let's look in the entire NCAA. I don't know, definitely not the entire NCAA. I mean, I left there though. Like in the top 20. All right. Oh, fuck. I, mean, it's, I want Samuels to be the leading rusher this year. He got it. He's probably leading in touchdowns. That's probably why he's a Heisman candidate. Let's go to the NCAA and see what touchdowns are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yards after contact. Holy shit, I didn't see that. Oh my god. He only has one rush of over 20 yards. That's a 72 freshman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my quarterback, man, is just... I mean, I think I'm going to keep rolling with him. I'm trying to recruit a quarterback that's better, obviously. But yeah, he's 73 overall freshman. I think he started out the season at 69 overall, actually. I wonder if my uh, depth chart will show that. No, just as he's 73 overall, but I'm pretty sure he started out the season 69 overall. He's been a stud for me. I just wish he was faster. He's got good agility and acceleration though. Samuel's coming a long way. Oof. We are struggling. Yeah, 
guy in shivers. I don't even know. Who am I graduating after this? Yeah, I'm graduating those two receivers. I don't have tight end on my roster. I'm graduating one offensive lineman, one D tackle. My safety. I'm graduating three guys. I don't know. Five guys technical. Not bad. Yeah, tw I've thrown 26 interceptions with him. Not all of them are his fault. I, I've made some shit decisions, and I've, had, I've been in games where I've been down that I've just, like, not aired and been trying to air it out. And then I've also had receivers that... I mean, how many dropped I have, it just literally hits my receivers in the hand and it falls into the hands of the defender. It's like how, uh, it's really, it's like Eli Manning, basically. This freshman quarterback is Eli Manning in NCAA football, where it's just throws a lot of interceptions, but not all of them are his fault. He's getting fucking hit constantly, and <laughs> right, Jameis Winston. <laughs> I know, and now I'm staring down the barrel of Alabama for my next game. So it's like, oh, uh, that makes me even more nervous. But anyways, I think that's it for me today. I did my recruiting. My next game, I'll be playing Bama. And then probably my, I'll probably just advance through to the bowl game because I won't have a conference championship game. But we're at least ranked 21 and we can maybe spoil Bama's uh, chances at the SEC championship game or something. That would be sweet. So uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. Um, is there anybody that we should raid right now? Ginger Vice, you got anybody you want me to raid? <clears throat> I'm looking like there's a... I don't know, I watched this girl Lickledo. She plays Alien Isolation, the generic gamer, playing Assassin's Creed right now, so. Spicy Log or One Girth? Who, need, who needs the most viewers? <laughs> Alright, we'll look at Spicy Log then. Seven Days to Die. log all right we'll send it on over to spicy log so um anyways thank you guys for watching uh i really appreciate the support we'll be back next time with playing our game against bama or our online dynasty i think is gonna sim this weekend so i'm pretty stoked about that um thanks for hanging out with me today i really appreciate it see you guys